Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to block in with multiple layers of paint to create realistic skin tones. I want to welcome you all to Magic Key Art Studio where you can learn a whole lot about how to paint photorealistic portraits. For step-by-step -step real time painting videos, you can find me on Patreon at the link below. My ebook, Becoming a Self-Taught Artist, and the Color Mixing Cheat Sheet is also available for download. Without further ado, let's get started. This painting is done on a 9x12 inch birch wood panel that I handcrafted myself. I drew the concept on paper and then transferred it onto the wood panel with a pencil crayon. I was really excited to start this painting. This is a commission of my client sister who is a passionate yoga instructor. I wanted to accentuate her pose arching back and I thought it would really complement this pose really well by adding a blooming peony in the back. I also added a bird to symbolize the liberating feeling and serenity of the practice of yoga. The model is a lot smaller than my usual portrait paintings and I'm painting the whole figure rather than just a face. And the reference photo is also black and white, so I'm going to paint in multiple layers rather than spending more time on fewer layers and focusing on what's in light and what's in shadow before I add in more colors. During the first session here, I'm blocking in the darks and the lights. I'm blocking the areas that are in shadow. Since the face is so small, I'm drawing the shadows with the same color, similarly with the arms and the legs. Without worrying too much about the details, I'm coloring the most obvious shapes that stand out. When an area is covered in paint, I'm using a dry synthetic brush to blend and smoothen the area. When the dry brush is starting to get diluted with paint, wipe it off on a paper towel and then just continue blending. The dry brush can even be the brush that you're using to paint. Just make sure you wipe it clean when you dry brush. Sometimes I like to use the same brush that I'm painting with to blend because I get so acclimated to it.
After this stage, I can now visualize the subject, but it still appears flat and it's not very realistic or detailed yet. I also left out the hands because that's going to require a lot of meticulous painting techniques and I'm leaving the rendering for the later stages of the painting. Since her structure is more defined now, I can start to add more details. I can tell where everything is and I can see the muscles and the bone structure. But everything is mainly made of just two colors right now, just a dark and a light. And from this stage onwards, my goal is to make her look more alive during each layer by adding more shadows, mid-tones, and highlights. Every time I add paint, I'm going to blend it in. And since I'm using the brush to set the paint on the area around it, the blending brush will depend on the size of the area that you're blending.
Now I'm going to intensify the shadows by mixing ultramarine blue, quinacridone violet, and alizarin crimson. This gives me a very intense and dark flush tone that I'm going to add to the edges of the shadows of the arms and the legs. On the other hand, the areas where the light transitions into dark, I'm adding more warm tones with transparent red oxide and cadmium red. The warm tones will create a dimension and depth where the colors will transition from light to warm to dark. And again, after applying paint, I'm blending with a dry brush to settle the paint. When it comes to highlights, which is close to pure white in this painting, this usually takes a few layers to achieve because the dry blending would remove some of the paint, hence flattening it out. The whole back and forth of adding and blending and accidentally removing paint actually makes the subject look more refined in the end. So just keep repeating this process and you'll see how the model changes from just having light and shadow to having highlights and mid-tones and darks and intense darks. I want to thank you all in advance for stopping by. Please let me know of any questions in the comments below. I hope you all enjoy the rest of the video as you watch her come to life.